a national red light camera scandal with possible ties here to our state. The CEO for a company called Red Flex recently pleaded guilty to taking bribes in two other cities. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn is live now. Russell, that same company has installed cameras here in Colorado. And the company is called Red Flex. It installed these red light cameras here in Denver back in 2008. And although Denver has since gone with a different company, the fact that Red Flex operated here to begin with brings into question whether Colorado officials were bribed. The whole red light camera issue is just uh, one more example of gangster government taking from its pe the people it's supposed to represent and take care of, and, and it, it just doesn't. It makes the roads less safe, and then these bribes are happening. And so, yeah, I do think that it's very well possible that there were, in fact, bribes here in Colorado. Jonathan Lockwood is the executive director yeah, of the public advocacy yeah, so group Advancing Colorado. Bribes, the... His group says red light cameras in our state are money grabbing schemes. The latest developments in the scandal come on the heels of two red light camera bills that passed the Colorado legislature this year. One would have banned cameras altogether, but the governor vetoed both bills. With huge support um, from both sides of the aisle, and then it landed on Hickenlooper's desk and he vetoed it both bills and so um, he really kept the program going and said you know um, when they're perfectly timed they make the roads safer and there's tons of evidence that says they're not. Former CEO of Red Flex Karen Finley pleaded guilty to bribing municipal officials to install her company's cameras. The former VP of Red Flex who is also the whistleblower has said Colorado officials were amongst those in several states who accepted bribes. A spokeswoman for the governor's office got back to us late tonight. She says the governor's position on this is very clear. While not always popular, he supports these red light cameras and photo radar cameras because he believes they do make the roads safer. In terms of that federal pro probe into bribery, it will likely extend into several other states now, including Colorado. Live in Denver, Russell Haythorn. 7 News. Thanks, Russell. And by the way, the red light cameras in Littleton are going away at the end of this month. City Council there made that decision earlier this year. Police said the five cameras did help make the streets safer, but didn't think they really needed to stay.